I think you need to travel more to learn about different culture and understand that a provider is not like the woman is using her. And because a woman don't want to do the 50-50, that doesn't mean that she is a gold digger. What is the meaning of gold digger for you? All the poor guys who doesn't have money, no education. They don't even make half of the women make. They always call women gold digger. You know, and I'm not a gold digger. I'm a working hard woman, but I never seen my dad doing 50-50 with my mother. I never seen my dad a cry baby. He does his job as a father, as a man, as the leader of the family. I, will, I was raised this way in my culture. I'm not an American woman. I was in born there. So you can manipulate American women all you want, but you cannot do that with majority of us as Caribbean. And you cannot do that, especially with African from Africa, because that's in their culture. And you cannot do that with Middle Eastern women. You can't even do that with white women either, because I grew up in Europe. So you need to travel more to understand what is a man, what is culture, since God created the world. Who was the leader in the family? Who used to go to work to provide for his family? Instead of saying on social media, complaining, saying women are gold digger because women are smart enough to make their money to do what they want and they protect their money. Smart women will not spend her money on a man. Especially when you're just dating the person, you don't know his plan. A lot of men now, they marry very uh, successful women because after, they want your money. Shame on you. Shame on you. Be a man. Be a man. That's why I don't follow what the society is saying. Because I truly believe we still the same the way God created us to be. God still wants the woman to be the, the woman, the man to be the man. And we, the 50-50 things never work for a woman. If a woman doing 50-50, she will always be the loser in it. A woman will always work harder than a man if she's not just a stay-at-home mom. Even you are a stay-at-home mom, a housewife, if you're not just that woman who just travel, doing anything, you don't take care of your babies, you, de you don't take care of the home, you don't cook, yes, I understand. But a real woman, a wife, or a mother... She's working, and you want to say 50-50, and she's taking care of the family. She's cooking, she's cleaning, she's taking care of the baby. She's supporting her men emotionally. A woman come to your life not to support you financially. She come to help you. She And a lot of men, smart men, they understand that. They understand it. They don't go after a woman for her money. They're looking for a good wife, a good mother, a good human being. Not someone I'm trying to, hey, financially, I want to, you have to help me 50-50. What a weak-minded man. You need to be single. You, be, you need to work on, your, on yourself. You need to be alone. Go work on your finance. You don't need to be in a relationship. And when the woman is walking all over you, don't come on social media to speak negatively because you allow that to be happening. And stop calling women who are smart gold digger. Gold digger is completely different. It's a woman who is just with you. She doesn't have no she doesn't have no hope to be with you. She she's not attracted to you physically, mentally, emotionally. All she sees is money. That's a gold digger. But a woman who knows her what, she's telling you. In order for me to be a wife, to bring children into this world, you have to be a provider. I want to see what you bring to the table. I want to see how you're going to lead my children. I want to see how you're going to lead the family. Because I need a leader in my life. If you're calling this woman gold digger, you will be out of your mind. I was raised with a dad. I never seen my dad need my, mommy, my mother money. He always does his job as a man. He did his job. He provided for his family. He provided for his children. He was respectful to my mother. That's a man. Before, before you, you accept to get married, you accept to bring children into the world, you have to be ready. Because we are not, God didn't create women to be, to be the provider. We're not provider. We don't provide. We're already providing babies. We're already carrying children for nine months in her body. 
Well, well, did we already don't sleep at night? We deal with so much physically, emotionally, things you will not, you will never be able to understand as a man. But you still want me to go to work to provide for you 50 50. Shame on you. You need to work on yourself and stop calling women uh, um, gold digger. You probably the gold digger.